Hi friends, welcome back to So Practical. Today I have a practical tutorial for you. We're going to make kitchen boas. These are so nice and very practical. Towels ready whenever you need them. These help me out greatly with canning. Hot jars, tightening my clamps on my canner, you name it. Anyway, we are going to go through making these and um, I have made these very decorative super super cute I will put the sizes of cuts in the description box below for you and you can decide if you want to use those measurements or if you want to make measurements of your own super cute super practical anyway pull a chair up to my sewing machine and let's get started the first thing you're going to want to do is pick your towel and pick your fabric now here are a whole bunch of towels that I actually picked up at Goodwill they're all pretty new and a little stiff. I've got a couple flower sack towels that are thinner. Um, <clears throat> you can use those. You can use anything you want. You can make them any way you want. Depends on what you like to use these for. I love to use these for canning because I can, I can tighten my clamps with them and not hurt my hands, not burn my hands. Also, I can hold jars to tighten the lids, tighten the rings. So I love to use my kitchen bowl specifically for canning. But you can use it for baking, for drying your hands. If you would prefer to use, um, if you want yours to have pot holders at the end, you can do that instead of towels. I love the towels. So um, to me, this one looks more like a bathroom towel, so I'm not going to use that. But I do love the waffle towels. This is the one my mom has made for me, and I use it all the time. I washed it so it's <laughs> a little wrinkly. So I'm going to go ahead and use this yellow waffle towel and then you're going to need the fabric for the middle and I have picked this out. I love this fabric. I used it for a couple other projects. Um, this is a vintage fabric. Um, I like mine about 40 inches long. Put, you know, get your tape and measure around your neck how long you're going to want this before it hits the towel. So these are about, this is about 40, so I'm going to cut a length of 42 and about 8 inches wide because we're going to fold it. So an 8 by 42, which would be probably around with the fabric. So I'm going to cut it at eight and call it good. It'll probably so that means after folded, it'll be more like three and a half than four. I'm good with that. Your towel will need to be cut in half, so you can measure it or you can fold it in half and iron a crease so that you know where to cut. And then I've got this lined up on my board so I can cut straight. Alright, so here is another thing. This is going to be sewed into the um, fabric part. This will be the bottom. You can, if you want, take scraps to embellish so that it ties in with your handle if you want to do that. Um, you can do a, you'd have to cut this straight clearly. I'm just showing you this as an example. But, um, I guess we could do that. That would be cute. I can cut another strip and show you. Okay, so I am just going to cut a one inch so I can make it thin. Or I can do a one and a half. Let's do a one and a half. 
Let's cut a one and a half. This part is completely optional. I'm going to iron this. I'm going to take it over to the iron. I'm going to iron it straight and then I'm going to iron it with the ends into each other so that we don't have raw ends. You, you can leave the raw ends and zigzag them if you would like. It would be easy. Okay, so I have, this is folded in half, but here is my strip for the centerpiece. We will work on the towels first. I need to see exactly how long this is. Okay, so I have got these ironed like bias. I'm going to figure out where I want them. I'm going to put them maybe... Let's use the yellow one here. Okay, so I've got it an inch and a half from the bottom. I like the looks of that, so I'll go ahead and pin that in place. You don't have to measure, you can eyeball. Okay, so my first one is pinned into place. Let's do the next one. Make sure you're pinning it on the right side of the towel and not the underside. Okay, I've got the edging or the this, this stripe pinned on each of my towels, each halves of my towel. So I'm going to take it to the machine. I'm just going to do a straight stitch up and down both sides. So I'll go down one side and go back up the other. Um, otherwise you can do a decorative stitch if you want. You can do a blanket stitch. Whatever you want to do. However you want to do it. You can use ribbon, lace, rickrack. Okay, so I've got both of my towel halves done. And if you can see, I've just done a straight stitch on both sides. But since we ironed it, we don't have raw edges to worry about, so no fraying. You don't have to um, do that. You can leave it straight and zigzag it around. You can use fray check as well. Okay, so now that we've got that part done, Let's focus on this part. So, what we are going to do, first of all, I'm going to take this to the iron, and I am going to iron this in about a quarter inch on both sides. Now that I have ironed them in, I'm going to go ahead and make my life easier by just stitching. So I will flip it over to this side, stitch a quarter inch down just to hold that in place, as well as the other side, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so we're kind of double stitching the ends, but this is a little bit easier than trying to... Um, okay, I'm going to take this to the iron. I'm going to iron it in half right sides together. So what we're doing is ultimately sewing a tube with both sides staying open because this is where we're going to tuck the towel into. So I'm going to go ahead and sew this whole thing. So I went ahead and sewed it and turned it inside, or turned it right side out. So the re that's the reason I sewed this edging, was so that when I turned it right side out it wouldn't pull it apart, the thread. So now that we have this, we are going to take our towel and we need to put them into this. So you just kind of bunch it up a little bit to get it in there. Um, I, you probably saw on my sewing machine, I have my um, walking foot on there, but you don't have to. So you want this at least a half inch in there. I think I have mine a little too far. 
Okay. I'm just going to get some big clips and clip them. Alright, I can only find one big clip. I can tell you right now, kids. You can also pin if you prefer. But that is essentially what it is going to look like. I'm going to turn it around. Make sure I keep same sides. And just kind of bunch it up. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I can't see what you can see. I have the windows open and trying to make it bright in here. But on my camera it just looks dim. Okay, so I've got it bunched up like this. Got it about half inch in. This one I'll just do a longer pin. Okay, so we'll take it to the sewing machine and sew across to this. I'm probably going to go across a couple of times just to make sure that it's in there good. This is a lot of bulk to go through your sewing machine. Take your time and just go slow. Make sure you got a heavier needle as well. You can use a denim needle for this. And you're gonna you may have to push it, help push it through. If this is too much bunching and your machine doesn't want to go through, you can always do this wider make this wider to put your towel in to sew it through a little easier. So again, I've got my walking foot on, but it's still struggling a little bit. So just take your time and go slow. You can go over it a couple of times to make sure it stays in there. But there's one side done and I'm going to do the other side real quick. And there's my other side. Um, again, you can put your walking foot on to make it a little bit easier. That's what I did. I still had to pull it through. But look how cute this is. This turned out so cute. I am so in love with these colors. I actually might give this to my daughter-in-law because it's so, it's so cute. And she doesn't have one. And she will love these yellow flowers. Alright, that's all there is to the kitchen boa. Super customizable. You can use any fabric you like. You can customize the towels and the lengths. Also, if you want to put hot pads on the end of your boa versus a kitchen towel, you can certainly do that as well. And if you want to make your own so that you can customize it and make it your own colors, you just need some Insulbrite for the inside of that. You can even draw your own pattern, whether it be oval rectangle, heart, whatever you want. If you, if you enjoyed the video, and I sure hope you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet and you like videos like this, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.